Lizzie Mathis here and welcome back to the kitchen with me. I'm so excited to be here. I have been inspired actually by Honest's new diaper print, which has, <laughs> drum roll please, the Bride of Frankenstein on it. So that is what we are making today. We are making Bride of Frankenstein fudgy brownies. Okay, first off, we are gonna use a brownie baking mix and I'm here. Oh my God. We're gonna help you guys take your Halloween to the next level. Boom. Chocolate. Bada bing. Boom, boom. <laughs> Bada boom. <laughs> okay, so you guys ready to get started? Here we go. So we are using Food Stirs Brownie Mix, and it's not just any brownie mix. If you have followed me in the past, then you know I'm a big fan of Food Stirs. The reason why I love it is because not only is it organic in the mix, it's not just your average pour water and go, boom, you have brownies. This, you can add your own things to it. So you can add your organic eggs, your organic oil, which is really great, and it makes it a lot more homemade feel than just a box brownie mix. Let's start by cracking our eggs. We need two organic eggs. We're gonna whisk up our eggs. And don't whisk them too much, but definitely mix them together. Then we're gonna add our oil, which is one third cup of oil. Then we are also gonna add a tablespoon of hot water. I've already microwaved some water, so it's nice and hot. And we're gonna add a tablespoon of that. Remember to whisk fairly quickly because you don't want the hot water to cook your eggs. So we do that. Now we're going to put in our brownie mix. And instead of the whisk, which we are finished using the whisk now because the brownie mix gets pretty thick, we're going to now get a spatula and we're gonna mix. And it gets really thick, guys. So just make sure you put your arm muscle into this one. It kind of gets a little hard to mix around. You want to mix it just until the powder is gone. So you want to mix it till you don't see powder anymore. And this one is nice because this has chocolate chips in the batter as well already, which is nice. So it's going to be extra double fudgy, chocolate chippy, just melt in your mouthy kind of brownie. All right. So we have also, she's back. We have already sprayed Wait, our pan. Happening? We're making brownies, damn it. We are putting the mix into our How brownie pan. How be to make brownies? Now, you spread it out. I am the queen of quick and tasty. Queen of quick and tasty! And this is gonna be quick. This is taking seven hours. And it's gonna be tasty. <laughs> she's lying, I don't know what she's talking about. She hasn't even been here. I don't even, I don't even know how, where she appeared from. She came out of like a closet and just, that's it. Are you gonna just stand there? You wanna I, help? I mean, I've actually never, I don't think I've ever patted down Brownies? A brownie like You have so. to get into the corners. It's, it's cute. You're, it's cute. That's what they say when people would be like, oh, that's cute for you. Not for me, but that's cute for you. Now we have our brownie. We're gonna pop it in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes. All right. So guess what? We have brownies uh -oh. already done, yeah! They come out the oven, they look really great. It's a perfect square, but we're gonna cut it all up into our cookie cutters. First, we're gonna do our face. We're gonna pop that baby out. And then we're gonna do our squiggly for the hair. Once again, really push that baby down in there. Be careful in popping it out. Be very gentle because you never want to just, you know, squish the whole brownie. Now, here's a trick that I love using. I'm gonna grab a couple of toothpicks. And so, because I am putting toothpicks in the brownie to hold the top and the bottom together, as you can see. Then be careful when your kids jump in there and they just wanna bite and don't think about anything else. Make sure that you remove the toothpicks before you give them to your children. But what we're gonna do is essentially we're gonna take the bottom heart, which is our face, and we're gonna put a couple of toothpicks just in the tops of them. And then we're gonna flip our hair upside down and we're gonna just stick them in. And now we have our top and our bottom of our brownie, of our beautiful, beautiful Bride of Frankenstein. And what we're gonna do is with our little leftovers here, our little edges, we can just create a little bit of a ball and we're gonna stick that down in the middle of those two brownie cutouts just to fill that hole so when we do put our layer of frosting on top, it makes it really seamless, really beautiful, really easy. 
So what I have here is, I'm gonna grab my spatula, because now it's time to decorate, baby. What I've made is a white frosting, which you can be, you can buy it pre-made or you can make your own. It's really simple to make a cream cheese frosting. That's just cream cheese, powdered sugar, whip that thing together. You got some really great frosting. So I've done that. And I've also gotten some uh, plant-based food coloring, done that already with a green to make a green frosting. And I've done it also to make a black frosting. This is gonna be the base for our face and the base for our hair. Okay, so first I'm gonna do her face. A little bit of frosting goes a long way. So I'm gonna take a little bit out and I'm gonna just paint the bottom. And you wanna try and keep it as smooth as possible. Just like if you're basically frosting a cake. Don't worry if your brownie is a little bit like not super smooth underneath. That's what the frosting is there for. It's to create a really smooth layer on top. We're gonna clean up those sides. Just smooth that out. That turned out really nice. So while that is drying just a little bit and getting a nice little hard layer on top, we're gonna do the top, her hair, with black. And the same idea here. We're gonna smooth it out to create a nice black layer on top so we can decorate her hair and make her look so Frankenstein and Halloweenish. This is great guys. Now we get to decorate the beautiful bride of Frankenstein. We are gonna use a little bit of sea salt and we are gonna sprinkle the top layer of her hair. We're just gonna sprinkle the hair. And what that does is it creates this really cool effect that makes it look like she has like, you know, some bad girl hair. So also what I'm gonna do is I have the original um, white frosting that I had. So I just literally spoon it into a bag. And you know what's great? Because if you don't have a piping bag laying around the house, which I rarely do, I always have Ziploc bags, but this is a reason to use them. So now all you have to do is put your icing in the bag, snip off a little, little, little tiny piece, and then you can use it as a piping bag. So we're gonna create her lightning bolt. Boom. So for the face, we're gonna use two very tiny chocolate chips for the eyes. And a little trick that I learned, put a little dollop on the chocolate chip to make an eye. So now we're gonna do our eyebrows. I put the black frosting into another piping bag and we're just gonna do a quick little eyebrow. And then this is the fun part, licorice. So you take a licorice, we're gonna cut a little tiny sliver. We're gonna just place our mouth near the bottom of our face. We cut up a piece of the licorice into a strip. And then if you have a rolling pin, it's best to use a rolling pin as well, but I'm gonna use a little meat mallet. And basically, don't get your finger. So you pound it down and then we're gonna cut it. I'm gonna just cut triangle triangle on that side and we're going to cut another triangle for the other side. And there you go guys. All right guys, so that's our Bride of Frankenstein. It's a great activity to add to do with kids for Halloween. Have fun, let them explore. That's what it's all about. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe. Join me again for another cooking video, another In the Kitchen with Lizzie. I can't wait to see you soon and make sure to let me know what other videos you want to see. Happy Halloween! <laughs>